So how has poker changed in the last year in terms of aggression uh, and bet sizing and sort of why, you know, we talked a little bit about that. But um, okay, so like a few years ago, when yeah. I first started playing, uh, if he was aggressive, he was always going to win because <laughs> everyone was just so tight and if they three bet you, they just had like jacks plus. But obviously the game moved on a lot and people started three betting light and stuff like that and then four betting came in and stuff like that and the game advanced but like the Scandinavians was, um, I don't know if they was the first to do it, but I know they was renowned for being the most aggressive players. Um, they was really tough to play against, and Scandinavians was known for like the best European players. Um, so they was tough to play against. So everyone just started basically copying what the Scandis was doing, start being aggressive. And then for like a year or two, I think people was being aggressive in like wrong spots, and they'd be aggressive like running big bluffs and stuff like that, and getting lots of the chips in with bad hands and stuff like that, and uh, playing big pots unnecessarily. So like being over aggressive, but now like all the good players have just got they're so well that like they're controlled aggressive. Mm. It's like the hardest style to play against if someone's just aggressive, but like it's controlled, it does it in the right spots and stuff like that. So uh, that's some people are all different. Obviously, there's not a way that everyone plays. Everyone plays differently, but um, all the best players can play in every every single gear. Mm. And and this sort of new style that looks on the face of it like an amateur sort of moves like flat calling with sort of uh, yeah. aces, which is what sort of amateurs do after they've learned. Not to raise with aces and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but yeah. then they go and try and limp, and then they go back to raising. But now it's sort of like it's gone back to that. But yeah. Yeah. It's like, of, yeah. These like, I think like good quality players um, can they know all the moves. Do you know what I mean? They can limp with aces and stuff like that. Like myself, I look like, online I sometimes because I'm not like a big online player. Um, like, because I've never really played them. I'm more of a live player. So like people don't know my name and stuff like that, online, which is good for me. So like I just like, every now and then just like limp late position with a really big hand, and then like the button just wants to ISO you. Then the small guy knows what he's doing, and they just go nuts on each other, and you just pop up and just flat and let them just go to go to work. So it can work out and things like that. But you've got to, like it's all player dependent. It depends what game you're in. Like online, it's a good thing to do. Like limp late with a big hand, even though I don't really do it too much. It just comes natural. I just but like it could be a good spot to do it in. But like. And even live, I would never limp live late position. I think it's so bad. To, I don't. I can't remember the, the last time I ever open limped in live. And even online, I, I say that I could sometimes do it like late position, but you don't really get in that spot too much. Um, yeah, I just, I, I, don't, I just don't. I'd rather just open for the min raise and just take control of the pot, isolate the small blind, the big blind possibly. And, uh, just play from there. But, but like limping with big hands and stuff like that. Well, I mean, what you're gonna do is like. Li like you limp, raise, raise, and now all of a sudden you want to like re-raise when you haven't re-raised all day because if you, it's like it's too fishy. Like and even if they don't think you have aces, they know it could be like a possibility you have aces, so they are aware that you could have aces. So like, I don't really think you can trap people by limp, re-raise. I think it's pretty bad play. Um, I'm not a fan of that move at all. Cool.